Okay, these 100 degree days, which are unusual for the Northeast and pulling hills, I've been running about 190 degrees with a new Brassworks radiator and new water pump and new fan. So I can only surmise that maybe the, um, I retorqued the head too. It's not leaking. No air bubbles, as far as I can see. Um, the only thing I could surmise is some of the internal block water passages are probably blocked off. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'd like to get it down at least 10 degrees. So I got some of this pre-EPA Prestone flush that I've had kicking around in my shop for about 30 years with some fresh water. I'm gonna run it this week with that in there. They say run 50 to 100 miles with it. Drain it, flush, maybe run a water with a dishwasher, you know, automatic dishwasher uh, soap in it. Run that a bit, clean it out, and then just run straight distilled water, maybe with a water wetter, you know, anti-rust in it, uh, to see if I can get that 10 degrees cooler. Just a little bit of comfort for longer trips and the bigger hills. So that's where I'm at with this. If that doesn't fix it, I'll, I'm, you know, hopefully the running the straight water at least will bring it down around 180 on the hottest days. It's getting a little cool around here. We're in the 80s today. You know, nice, uh, nice summer day. Um, what I'll do is I'll drain it in uh, fall and put the 50/50 antifreeze back in for uh, fall driving and winter when I'm really not, not that concerned about overheating. And uh, next year, if this all doesn't fix it, next year I'll pull the head and, uh, you know, get one of those bore cleaning things you hook up to your uh, drill or wire rope or whatever and clean out all the passages. So that's where I'm at with the uh, these hot days in New Hampshire.